Hello, today what I want to look at is how we convert a file or a picture into a digital negative so we can use it with traditional processes and anything that uses like a contact printing process. Now I've printed one here and I'm going to show you how I've created this in a minute. Now this is the digital negative of this picture of the flower. So we can then put that on top of a piece of paper and let light shine through it and then we can create the positive of it. Now I've printed this on our photo speed contact film, our DC film. Um, really easy to print on an inkjet on printer and we can use it with alternative processes like I saw, traditional photographic processes like our cyanotype kit here. And so we can start to explore those traditional, those early forms of photography to really understand the medium. So let's get started and have a look at how I created this. So what we need to do is go down to our adjustments tab in our layers section down here in the bottom right and it's the little circle um, half black and half white. So if we click on that we get layer adjustment layers basically coming up. And we've got invert in here, so we can select invert and we get an adjustment layer on the top and we can switch it on and off, so non-destructively. So we are not affecting our background image at all. The next one is we can do a levels or curve adjustment. I'm going to select levels and we can see up here we have a levels come in. So we can adjust what we're going to be doing with the levels there. And again, we can turn that on and off, so we can turn the inversion off and the levels off. So if we put the levels on, as you can see, I've gone a little bit too far there, I've lost some detail. So let's just bring that back a little bit. And then we can start to just, I wanna bring the detail in a little bit so it's a bit more contrasty, because when I'm gonna be doing this negative for cyanotype printing, so I need a little bit more punch in there, and a little bit more kind of contrast in the image. So I just want it about there. Now if I invert that image and all I have to do to invert that image is turn the layer back on. Now you can see we are losing a lot of detail in here and this is where we can really start to play around with and get this negative correct and the way we want it. So I'd probably put it around there. Now, as you notice, I haven't converted this to black and white yet. Now, all we need to do to do that is to click on our adjustment layers tab down here, go up to black and white, and we can add a black and white layer in as well. And at this point, we can go in here <coughs> into the properties tab, just up here on the left hand side, just under your history tab should be properties. And this will give you exactly the same controls as what you had before. I always like to flick the inversion just off and on, just so I can kind of gauge what I'm kind of kind of doing with the image. So we get a nice kind of black and white mix to start with. Maybe I just want that background up a little bit as well. I want a better kind of black in here as well. So it's just a combination of the two. Now you can do this when you're using the destructive method like inverting just to the background and applying that however you've got a lot more control because you can just select which one you want to alter and then you can turn it on and off and think oh does it make a difference doesn't it make a difference and we can just go through it like that so we can get this perfect negative and when we put it back on I would say I would like a little bit more detail in these leaves here because as you can see, it's all a bit blocked when we go into this negative. So just try and bring those back up a little bit, like that, with that black there. There we are. Now, if we turn the inversion off, that isn't actually a bit bad black and white. We're, so with the inversion on, that is what we're going to be printing. So that's how we convert it. Now, when it comes to printing, 
all we need to do on the DC film is select a semi-gloss paper type, exactly the same as our PF luster. And we do have um, the generic profiles for the DC film on our website as well. However, if you haven't got one of those, the PF luster profile will be absolutely fine on this. On this, They're kind of universal of what we're using. So I've selected the Epson Premium Semi-Gloss because I'm on the P600 and I'm printing on A4 and then we can just click print and we are done. Nice, simple, easy process hopefully. It takes a little time to tweak and but by using these adjustment layers in here that makes things a lot easier. Like I said, if you want to print it in colour, you can just turn these off. Alright, well I hope that's helped.